This is a before and an after. These are a couple folding chairs that needed to be redone. This is DIYs by Dar. Let's see if we can go ahead and take care of that and redo them. Hello, my next project. I'm gonna redo these chairs. They have just fallen to pieces and I looked up the company, Telescope Casual Furniture. Very pricey stuff. The bottom came off pretty easy. There was only one screw holding that in at the end to take the seat off. Where the real fun was, was taking the back off because the screws that were in there, they were twist screws. They didn't have really any meat left on the top of them where you could take the screwdriver and remove them. So I ended up taking pliers and cutters and trying to pry it up enough so then I could take a pair of pliers and slowly try to un unscrew them that way. Um, I worked my way around and finally I just took a pair of scissors and I cut it off, but I still had to remove each and every little screw that way. And it was a exercise and being really careful because I didn't want to garf myself up. It was uh, quite a exercise. I first started with this one because I loved it and it said it was a heavy duck claw. But when I got it, I realized, hey, this is not going to work for a chair and they're going to end up ripping pretty quick. So I'm going to save this and probably make uh, some pillow covers out of it. So we're going to set that aside and the new material I got, I did some research and I found out that how they rate fabric is by something called a denier. And a denier of one is silk. The fabric that I have here, it is 600 denier. And it is um, more what I'm looking for, pretty much the same as this. It is for canopy and for hammocks uh, and chairs. So this is where I needed to go and um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start to measure up and I'm going to cut the pieces out and hopefully the little sewing machine that I have is just for crafting purposes will be able to sew through this when I double it up. I think that it will. I'll give it a try. They recommend a 20, must be a 20 gauge needle for your sewing machine to get through this and a, a heavier um, thread, which I do have. Um, the needle, I'm not quite so sure. When we get to that point, I'll look and I'll see which type it is. I went ahead and I carefully measured the pieces that I took off and got the exact, exact measurements. Then I went ahead and laid my material out and carefully cut it to the exact measurements. One thing I didn't anticipate is trying to make these chairs look good is matching up the back piece with the seat piece. I have all my pieces cut to put on the bottom for the seat. Now I need to get my two pieces cut for the top and I want them to kind of line up. So I'm trying to work it out um, so when I cut them that at least they do line up. So hopefully it will. Two pieces, doubled it up on the seat, more strength. From there, I needed to put a edge all the way around every single piece, especially where I had the pieces doubled, that was gonna help to hold them together. So it's just a piece of cotton and polyester mix, um, cut it to go around the end exactly, and then I went ahead and used some clips and clipped it on before I did sew it. Now these ends that you're putting on um, when you get to the other side, you don't have to be perfect with this. Here we go, the new sewing machine. The very first time I'm using it. And I'm like, wow, this is awesome. I should have had one of these a long time ago. All metal, no plastic parts. If you want to see what happened to my other one, go to my Instagram account 
and you'll see the fate of the plastic sewing machine that I had. This one is really, really great. On the end, go ahead and cut some more of the trim that's going to go around. And, and you don't have to be um, real, real exact. Nothing fancy here. It's all going to be turned around the backside, so you're not really going to see them ends. So just get it on there and clip it tight. And you're just going to go ahead and sew straight across to hold it together. Now when I um, am getting ready to sew this so it goes around those two pipes, I just lined it up exactly with the last one and sewed it straight across. And here I am trying to get that uh, to slide down on them pipes. And it actually worked out very, very nicely. Slid into place good. All I had to do was get that screw back into that front portion right through there and it'd be good to go there's the screw it's got a funny little nut on the end which you have to put um kind of inside the hole on the inside which makes it a little more difficult but you just have to take your time and do it you have to take a i used a bead reamer to poke a hole right inside that material so you can start to get that screw to feed through because that material comes across the top of where the screw goes through and it also helps hold that material in place. So if I can get that in, that will be fantastic. When you see me work with a um, drill screw to, to put this in, it's like watching paint dry. I'm like the worst person to watch with um, a big drill like that screwing something in there's the awl and I'm just kind of poking the material so that screw will go through making sure it's even um, from end to end and you have to put that um, little screw inside nut inside the other piece of metal feed your screw through there and there was a little spacer that also went in there and here I'm going to use that drill again to screw this in and my problem is I have very weak wrists very uncoordinated hands with my disease I got to balance it on my leg I got to try to get it on the end of the screw which is really hard for me um, but I just have to go careful slow and eventually I will persist in what I want and I get both of them ends on there uh, I had to tighten it up just a little bit and did I tell you that I'm really not a sewer? I don't really sew anything. So this was like really a fantastic uh, feat for me. Uh, the last time I really sewed anything, I did some pillows a little while back, but was in home ec class uh, in junior high. So there's the chair. I got it on. It looks nice and tight. It's in place. Have to give it a final little check. Make sure I got that screw in there right. And yeah, I want to see how it feels. Ha, nice. Now, all I have to do is get that top portion on. And you can see as I cut it, I did line it up pretty good with the seat. But it's going to be a little trick getting it around the back because I want that lined up. So I had to shift it a little bit line it up before I put the end piece on then I could put the screws in and here again we're gonna have that awesome clumsy me my nickname around the house is Darlene drops a lot 
because I drop everything. I have really uh, poor muscle control in my hands and there is some uh, shaking. I'm sure I probably have some lesions on my brain from my lupus, which is very much like MS, but I just keep on it and take my time. Try not to get myself too excited, but I had to get all these screws in the top of this so I'm going to go ahead and sit down on the job here, make it a little easier on my back. Pull that tight, try to make it as straight down as I, as I could and poke them holes through with that bead reamer to get that hole going. So when I took the screw and these screws that I'm using, I couldn't exactly find the ones that I had but I took the old ones with me to the store so I got the right length. Oh, here's my dog. She's like, hey man, I want my food. What are you doing here? I want my food. See, it's just hard for me to try to hold it and put that in. So I had to try a little bit of a different approach. I'm just too shaky. I can't. I can't match that up. Just bites. Now we got it going on here. I finally figured out what was the easiest way for me to do it was just to take and put that on my lap and put that hole and then I could get it from the top and, and um, kind of hold that drill, match it up on top of that screw to get that screw going. And I had that screw um, exactly as the last ones were. These were for aluminum and they were sort of like a twist type of screw. And so they went through and they worked great. Just a matter of taking my time and getting them all in. There they are, out there by my pool deck, my exercise pool that I try to exercise every day. Beautiful color, they're matched up great. The aluminum is nice and strong. They fold up wonderfully. I really like them a lot. I'm glad that I saved them and tried to uh, get them done. Beautiful, beautiful, love them, comfortable too.